Because they, they did most of uh, uh, Top 16 losers off stream. So the first few matches that we got, I don't know if you saw that, but were uh, winners, actually. So well, I want to say that this is probably back into the loser's bracket. What a doubt uh, well, play yeah, it is, because I know Prodigy uh, lost to Nick Tanella, and then he ran it back against Nick Tanella. Nick's still learning that Laura matchup. And Chris Wynn looking real strong tonight. He's uh, very He's strong. really upped his Ken game. Are they really going to fix Ken's face? Can we talk about that for just okay. a half second? I don't think there's anything wrong with that face. Honestly, if I looked at a dude... That look like that in person. I kind of think he's handsome. I know I stand alone. I apparently stand what, alone on that. What's the alternative? <laughs> I haven't seen. One. All right. I'm just saying. I don't think that anything is wrong with that face. <laughs> I like it when he's getting supered by Nash. Anyway, into the match. Yeah. However, Laura <laughs> looking hella like Christy Mac. <laughs> she does I mean, look like Christy Mac. Hey, she does. I think it's those cornrows, you know. I think it's the boobs. Oh wait. Yeah, I feel it's all of that. And I think it's also it looks because she looks like a girl who sort of likes. Anyway, fire, <laughs> fireball pressure. Prodigy, known for his aggressive style, tries it out, going for that overhead, that multi line. He knows it's punishable, he but plays so it. you know what? Sitting on that life lead, it was a safe option to try. See if Chris Wynn will fall for it. But he didn't. Oh, I would have gone for overhead. Oh, just that jab. You gotta, you, you can't contest some of these things. Um, sometimes you just have to just got to respect it, man. Just block. Yeah. Just well, block. I mean, Nick was commenting a little bit uh, on his match with Prodigy and uh, how random Laura is. He, uh, the, pretty much the what closed the round against uh, Nick was he V-triggered and Laura jumped back overhead. Okay, I see what you're saying. Now, here's the thing. You know what I think is the true strength of Laura is that you can make her look random but it's not at all random, you know? She has that, she sort of has a Mika magic to her She uh, does in have that a regard. Mika magic, but it's the same shit over and over and over, you know? I there, feel like with- There's a lot of set play. Yeah. There is a lot of set play, but at the same time, like, it just looks, it looks like, even more than Mika, I feel like she is just painted, I feel she's more freeform. She's more like, more improvisational. Also more my type. More your type. I, Shout I out agree. to Christy Mack earlier if you want to commentate. Oh, yeah. Dude, if you guys just want to, like, <laughs> at Erebo7 or at Craft Singles, at Dr. Stance, at whatever Christy Mack's <laughs> Twitter just is. Just let her know, dude. Just let her Link know, this man. Bod, dude. Get, her, get her attention. Let her know that she is in Street Fighter V, maybe without her permission. <laughs> Santa Ana <laughs> is not very far from Los Angeles. I, I think that's where she lives. Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't stalk her or anything, <laughs> but... Prodigy again. It look looks at that it stun. Looks, oh, when so it close looks random, there it but is. it's not. Gets that overhead and the dizzy. Scaling is going to be in full effect. Goes for. I oh. like. I like the option. Go for the empty jump. And good blocks because that is. I think minus six. The volti line on block. It is very unsafe. Let's just. I put think it, that he's not that. optimizing his options. Like I mean, Chris, he took it. Okay, I got to give props to Chris for that. But I feel like his corner pressure could use some work and training from the Trinity. He's going for the same shit every time they're in the corner. I feel like that was, honestly, what he did right there, he let he let go of his offense, and I felt that was not the time to do it. And now Prodigy is out of the corner, and this is this is dangerous. Ken, Ken, Ken's not like Guile, or even Ryu. He can't fight his way out of the corner as well. Now it's funny, as I say that, he just up and did it, you yeah. know? <laughs> Grabs her by there the sports bra. And Hell wheels backwards. And we're 1-1. One, one. And we're 1-1. One, one. That yeah. And that's a fast 1-1. One, one. You know, sometimes these, you know, full like full match games where it's like 1-1 one, one, and now both these guys are on the last game, sometimes they seem to be drawn out hella long, but that was fast. That was fast. I like that, I like that. Now, I like that he's keeping up the pressure, but I feel like actually now he could benefit from just kind of doing Stay whatever he wants. That's going to be stunned. Not bad at all. Very clean. Very nice. clean. Now, that was hyper-aggressive in a way that typically you see a lot of Kens, like they want to take advantage of the corner and they want to go for that shimmy. You know that was supposed to be a Tatsu. I think you wanted that to be a, a cross-up Tatsu. 
Oh, Prodigy dropped it. You know, that was... Yeah, he's in his He needed man, to go man. for a meaty setup there. Uh, get those landing frames. The very last... Oh, kicks her in the stomach. Did you see that animation? I really love how they animated that. <laughs> Oh man. That is dizzy. That's done. And that is going to go. I feel like that's going to be Chris game. Win. That is going to go. Chris Win Good advances job, on. Chris Prodigy Win. is unfortunately eliminated from tonight's tournament. Now we're going into top. That is top eight, right? And I feel like those are going to uh, be. That's definitely. That was definitely top eight. That is, that's a top eight decision. So that's going to be. Uh, a game that's gonna be game we, uh, we are gonna take a quick break we're gonna restart the stream and then we will be right back all right see you soon see you soon